Okay. I need you to draw that. Got it? Okay. I need you to draw that. One minute starting on the seven. Got it? And y'all can guess as much as you want. I okay. know what this is. What is <laughs> and, and the only time you can write something, and this is from the court chapter, the only time you can write something is if they say it out loud, but, but they haven't said anything. So, yeah, let's see what they've got here. Uh, what did we say? 35 seconds? Oh, my God. <laughs> what is that? Can I, like, right. label things? No, no, unless they say it. Okay, well, brainstorm it, Molly. You got this. Come on, Carmen. Man, evidently all the bad artists are in this group. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay, I think we got, like, 15 seconds here. It, it looks like, I don't know what that, that phallic-looking thing is. I, <laughs> it's a what? It's a pond? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Whoa, me, what me. from that five, um, four, okay, so three, wait, 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 I just need to know what he drew. Two, um, one. House, uh, oh, what did he draw in the article? What did he draw? Oh, that's a house. Okay, that's oh. not it. <laughs> you, your hand is up. Okay, so. I just need to know what he drew. A house. The, oh, okay. We okay. just said that was five. That was five. It's a house of like. It was that one article with the with the guy and oh, and the um, the coffee. Oh yeah, the guy who um, who was seen naked in his oh, own house. Oh, that was coffee. from the wrong exam. Mine was five. Okay, I do. Yeah, anybody else want this? One, one's First hand I see. And you can go back and sit down. Pedro, thank you. I'll make sure this is on Twitter. Um, <laughs> First hand I see. What's the significance of outhouse from the court chapter? No. You have it first. You've got it second. Go. Five. Well, Jerry Falwell and Larry Flynn. Okay, Jerry Falwell and Larry Flynn, tell me what happened. Um, Jerry Falwell was saying bad things about Flynn's Sorry. magazine. Yeah, he actually was. One, two, three, four, five. Falwell was religious and he was attacking. Keep going. Flynn published a interview about his first time drinking Campari liquor. Okay, it was really an ad, that. his first time drinking Campari liquor. What was the headline of this ad, though? What was the, the title? Jerry Powell talks about his first time. Jerry talks about his first time. One, two, three, four, five. And when somebody's talking about their first time, what does that imply? They're talking about sex. I hear you. Okay, so so here's the question on this. Okay, it implied that he had sex. What did it imply about the first time that he had sex? Five. And he did it with his mom. They kicked out a note, and they did it in Virginia. Okay, they did it with his mom. One, two, three, four, five. In and out house. One, two, three, four, five. After they kicked out a goat. One, two, three, four, five. So. In Virginia, okay, one, two, three, four, five, rural Virginia. I, I said this over and over, this is why I said it. Okay, so tell me more about this. What was the lawsuit? What was the case? Oh, that was ruining his career, and then I couldn't, like, harsh What did he sue for specifically, five? Um, it's emotional distress. It was, actually, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Falwell was upset, this is going to ruin my career. This is going to hurt my mama, is what he said. What did Flynn's attorneys argue as far as why this should be protected? Um, that once you're like a, a person in the public, like it's, a, it's okay, you got to just deal with it. you got to deal with it when you're a public figure. Four. Yeah, Three. It was printed a really... What was printed? Uh, um, that, that, not to be taken seriously. Not to be taken seriously. What was it called? Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. What was it called? What was printed at the bottom? Five. Oh. <laughs> what did it say? Four. It said, oh, parody. Yeah. Yeah. Parody. One, two, three, four, five. Not to be taken they also, seriously. They also, they also argued that... Wait, um, we, other other characters in 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 real life, uh, other characters cannot like. If you have another character and they're using it for uh, parody, so like he was talking about like the newspaper clipping or the newspaper uh, cartoon. Okay. He was using the the cartoon, and because of that, like um like you were saying, like uh, with your with your dean, like they made a they made a parody of the dean, so. It's fine to use it because what if then all these parody uh, people wanted to wanted to then 
go back and then they consume. That's a really yeah. awkward way of explaining it, but I get what you're saying. You're yeah. saying that, that, that if you ban this, then there are a lot of other jokes and parodies that in fact you could ban. Yeah. So, so part of this is the idea of a joke, part of it that it's labeled clearly a joke, part of it, like they said, is public figure. Anything else? Next, your, your group so, size. It. it was also in like a parody section of the magazine. It was in a 20-page section that was labeled parody. So maybe they couldn't have seen it in small print on the page, but they would have known what it was in the 20-page section. There was an asterisk at the title, too. Which directed you down to the yes. other. Who won? What was the vote? Anything you can tell me. Five. Zero to nine. It was unanimous. It was zero to nine. In favor of Hustler. In favor of Hustler. Hustler and Falwell won because of public figure, because of uh, clearly labeled parody, because of political cartoon. It was a First Amendment freedom of, of speech press kind of issue. First hand I see anybody. What if somebody said that Maddie was having sex with a relative in an outhouse after she kicked out a girl? Put her here! That would not be okay because she's not a public figure and she's not offering to have hey, her like... Hey. Yeah, and even if you say it's not true and you put it about somebody that's not a public figure, that's not going to be protected. Um, pick me a category. You just gave me the last correct What answer. the boom? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Presidency for four, what do you got? I'm pissed. Click it. The election of 1800, you have it first, you have it second, but you have it first. Okay, so Jefferson picked Aaron Burr to be his VP. Yeah, he did. Um, One, two, three, four. And then in the election, Jefferson and Burr tied. Jefferson and Burr tied in the Electoral College. And then the House gets to pick who wins. The House picks when the Electoral College doesn't. So then the House chose the lesser two evils, and they chose Jefferson as their president and Burr as their Who VP. kind of directed them to do that? Hamill. Hamilton! Hamilton actually threw the election of 1800 to Jefferson because he thought that Burr would be the ruin of the country. How did Burr take that? He was mad, then there was a duel. Burr challenged <laughs> Hamilton, one, two, three, four, to a duel. Tell me more. And then Hamilton gave himself up, but Burr didn't, and then he was wanted, Burr was wanted for treason. Burr gunned down the guy that's on the $10 bill in the middle of a duel. So Hamilton gave himself up. Burr took his shot. Hamilton ultimately died. Burr ran off into the countryside and, and tried to create his own country, but he did ultimately serve as vice president. What amendment got passed as a result of this? The 12th. And which says? Um, the president and the VP run as a ticket to the same party will be the president and VP together. Yeah, the problem in 1796 and 1800 was you had a president from one party and you had a vice president from another party. The 12th Amendment now says that the president and the vice president run together so that you don't have this kind of a mix-up. Pick me a category. Gotta go. Um, the presidency for three points. Presidency for three. List all I all you can. You have it first, first hand, it'll be okay. Ricardo next, but you have it now. Uh, United okay, States so, versus Nixon. Okay, so Nixon was um, he said he had the right to confidentiality for like executive privilege because he had tape recordings in his oval office. Nixon had tape recordings, but why was this an issue? Um because he was like because he was, had classified information. He had classified information? And they said it was a what was? Why did they want these tape recordings? Because something happened, right? The Watergate scandal. And what yeah. happened with Watergate? Uh, they went in. Who's they? What were they called? Five. His, uh, Four. His what were they called? Three. There's a certain name, two. It was weird name. One. Go ahead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's right. It was Ricardo's yeah, group. Yeah, it was Ricardo's group. What? I already, I already said it. It was Ricardo's group. Can we get points? I, I will give you the points back because I messed that up. Ricardo's group. Tell me about U.S. versus Nixon. Uh, Five. He fired He fired a guy. He did fire a guy. In, the, in his office. Oh. And they, um, and that person was like, oh, they told uh, Congress, they told Congress yeah. that, um, he, um, if you want to know about the um, situation, that he, you should get those hands on the tapes that he has. One, two, three. Nixon actually was taping people secretly. They didn't know. Only a few of his advisors did. And when they began to try and blame uh, a Nixon connection on this break-in to the Democratic National Headquarters, 
Well, he fired somebody. And when he fired the staff member, this staff member knew about the tapes. So when it made it, it look like he was the guy that dealt with Watergate. Well, he didn't want to be the guy that was known as having dealt with Watergate. So what did he do? He went to Congress and he said, if you want to know what the president knows, get him to turn over the tapes. Then what, Ricardo? Then um, Congress then uh, tried to, to told uh, Nixon that to give up the tapes, but he didn't want to. What did he say? That um, that um, five, four, that since three, I'm president, that I should I have the right to not two, give you my tapes, give the tapes <laughs> up, to not to give the tapes up. Be a little bit more specific, Max. Uh, he claimed absolute executive privilege. He did, and that's the key word. One, two, three. He claimed absolute executive privilege. So what could he? What was he basically saying that he didn't have to turn over? Uh, he was saying he didn't have to turn over anything because he could determine uh, what. Be yeah, he said, I'm the president of the United States. I don't have to turn over anything. I don't have to turn over letters, memos, tapes in today's world, faxes, emails, any kind of electronic communication, any of these things. When it went to the courts, what ultimately happened? Uh, they said that the president has executive privilege in cases of national security. National security, battle plans, troop movements, supply lines, keep going. But it's not absolute. It's not absolute. So Nixon ultimately lost. And the other thing to think about with executive privilege, it's not mentioned anywhere in the Constitution. Congress was basically saying, look it, you know, we, you're, you have to take care of that laws be faithfully executed. You, Mr. President, may have broken the law. We have the right to be able to get these tapes. And ultimately, they won and Nixon resigned. Pick me a category. And you're doing the 15-minute thing, right? Okay, just making sure, because we're almost out of time. Pick me a category. Gotta go. Courts for four. Courts for four, Prisoner, he says. Prisoner, prisoner. What happens when the Supreme Court ties? First hand, I see. Five. Four. Go ahead. Uh, they go to, I'm thinking of something. Wait, is it with the Solicitor General? Five. No. Four. Wait, no. Three. Seven. Two. It's with the Solicitor General. One. The Solicitor General. Minus four. <laughs> yes. Wow, everybody hates Molly. <laughs> what happens when the Supreme Court ties? It's the Ma it's the Kavanaugh stuff again. I, I know what this is. Anybody, what happens when the Supreme Court ties? Go ahead, click it. No. Oh wait. Highest lower court decision becomes the rule of law, and there will be another case that will soon follow because they're going to want to actually have the full court hear it. Touch the house. Who are the last one? Pick me another one. Uh, and right now, 50-55, you're at 62, so you're close. Yeah. Pictionary for five. Pictionary for five. No, no, no. I'll be minus five. Sorry. Five. Five. I misspoke. Click it. <laughs> Signing statements. Anybody know what is, oh man, y'all pick video. The only one that knows this is Molly. Wow, she is throwing massive shade. <laughs> Go ahead, Molly, what's a signing statement? A signing statement. <laughs> So it's where the president signs a, a bill into law, but also adds a statement of legal interpretation regarding how the bill impacts the president's Article II powers. Yeah, the president actually is going to sign a bill into law, but it's like putting a little P.S. at the bottom. And the P.S. is basically saying, well, I reserve the right to do this, or I reserve the right to not do something that it says in the bill. It's almost like a line item veto for policy, because the president is basically saying there's certain things I'm not going to do. But he signs the law, oh, this is and then, dropping them down. and this is in the PowerPoint. Please make sure you look at this. Um, pick me a category, Molly. Um, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's not a category. Touch the house. Pick me a, a listed category. That's okay. Um, Articles for four, she says. Oh, oh God. damn it! Why do they have to do it again? Can I, can I do a picture? This group again. We got to erase Pedro's buttocks. I mean, I don't know what that was. Okay, Molly, this is what I need you to draw. This should actually be really easy, right? One minute, started on the 10. This is from Articles. Got it? Okay. Yeah, we raised our hand. We got second, Molly. We got second on this, okay. Y'all have one minute, uh, actually it's 50 seconds now. Carmen and Pedro, y'all can guess, nothing is wrong within the first minute. <laughs> but afterwards. Oh, that's uh... Y'all can guess as much as you want. This is from the judiciary chapter. Okay. 
You can write down if they say well, something that's part of it. Was it at the beach uh, where they were taking pictures of the naked woman? Whoa, 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 whoa! Why is she writing stuff down? Because she said I could. Cell phone. Like, if, if she says it, I can, like, write it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's cell phone. I think it is cell phone. Yeah, Molly looks so happy. So okay, one, two, three, four, five. Y'all have it first. First hand I see. What's the significance of cell phone from the judiciary chapter? Y'all have this, and then it is you, and then it's you. Can I talk? Yeah, y'all can talk. Go ahead. You can sit down. Do you want to just stay up here? I was in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, and... Um, this t uh, this man went to went to this um, went to a work party with this woman and then they were drinking and she passed out on the beach. What was the guy's name? Uh, Snow. Christopher, Christopher Snow. Snow. One two three four five did go to a work party. One two three four five at Wrightsville out. Beach with a female coworker and they left the bar and and she passed out on the beach or he took her to the beach. She passed out on the beach. Uh, people fell unconscious. On